Washington Commanders training camp right around the corner. What's on your wish list? I'll give you mine. Let's go. Greetings and salutations and welcome to Ref the District. I'm Nathan Perry here with a training camp video you didn't know that you wanted. It's my top five things that I'm looking for during the Washington Commanders training camp. Now, I need to know what your things that you are looking for as well. So make sure you're getting down in the comment section of the video here on YouTube to let me know what it is that you're looking for during the Commanders training camp. Of course, if you're also watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you're listening to this on your favorite audio platform, leave us a rating and review. It helps other people find our content. Of course, while you're online, you can also head over to Bet Online. It's your number one source for sports betting, baseball, golf, soccer. All the top fights are right there at your fingertips. All the stats, every matchup, live odds, available to you right there at bet online when the game's over you can even go play in their online casino if you use the code believe b-l-e-a-v you can get yourself a 50 percent free bet credit on your first deposit of two up to 250 dollars let them let them know that our network sent you there bet online the game starts here now maybe one of those crazy bets you want to do and i we do implore you to bet responsibly is jamin davis over under 10 and a half sacks. Can he do it? I mean, that's a lofty goal. Probably going to have to take the under there. And Bet Online would help you get to the right facts as far as that's concerned. But Jamin Davis is the first thing that I'm looking here. So, number five on my list. The linebacker room has greatly improved over the last year that we've seen it. It was a hindrance in years past, despite the fact that the coach and defensive coordinator were linebackers themselves. Now it seems to be a strength. Of course, Bobby Wagner, a future Hall of Famer, is going to be your headliner here. But of course, you have Luvu as well, who is a strong signing. And Jordan McGee is getting lots of praise, even though he was a day three rookie. But my eyes are training on Jamin Davis. If the linebacker room is as good as people are saying it is, Jamin Davis is going to be given a lot of room to roam. And we have seen during OTAs how this defensive coordinator and staff is trying to line Jamin Davis up in more of a pass rushing role. Is this somewhere where he can excel? Are we going to see more of this? Or is this smoke and mirrors? Well, I want to see him out there because... If you look at kind of his relative athletic score, it's really off the charts. This guy can move. Maybe Bobby, Witt, um, maybe Joe Witt Jr. is somebody to unlock the potential of Jamin Davis. Now we're going to continue on here with my number four thing and staying on the defensive side of the room, and that is with our cornerbacks. Now I do expect Davis to be the starter on one side, but after that I think it gets a little shaky, and I want to see how this room is going to line up. You have standovers or holdovers and Benjamin St. Juice and Emmanuel Forbes Jr. Where do they fit in? as far as the guys who used to be one, two, and three, right? They used to be up in that spot, depending on where you were. Of course, we had Fuller. He was really number one, but we've seen St. Juice excel. We've seen Forbes not do so well in his rookie year. So where are they going to line up? Or is it going to be some of the guys that the defensive coaches have brought in to be the starters? I'm really interested in how it's going to fill out because – all eyes right now as far as what Emmanuel Forbes is doing, he might be cornerback five. There's a lot of love for what Mike Sanistrill is doing. I think that was an excellent draft pick for the team. You see him out there with Daryl Green working, and I think that he really has great talent and can be used you know, in that slot. So Davis on the outside, maybe Benjamin St. Just on the outside, and Sanistrill – in the, in the nickel spot, I mean, of course, you can run four cornerbacks, but it's going to be interesting to see what they do as far as this and how this one shakes out. Is Forbes going to continue sliding down the roster here, or will we see a bounce back year for him? Who's going to start opposite? Davis, and where, do, where does the back end of this fill out? You have a high-prized, undrafted free agent. Will he crack the roster? That's my fourth thing that I'm looking for 
during this training camp for the Washington Commanders. Speaking about how things shake out, the wide receiver room is another one. Luke McCaffrey is Stoner's go-to man for saying that he is going to be wide receiver three. Now, he does have to pass Zacchaeus, who I think will be wide receiver three, but it will be interesting to see how it goes after that. You know, we had Jahan Dotson last year was supposed to be his year doesn't really have a fantastic sophomore year can he bounce back in year three can terry mclaurin continue his trend of a thousand yard seasons and being really the only target or will some of these guys set you know step up i'm over the likes of deami brown dax milne's likely gone will one of these other guys step up to be the wide receivers past those four that we expect to be there and I think that that's going to be where our eyes are. We always love some of these back of the end roster guys. Well, this is where there's some room and, you know, there's room for some players, maybe like Kashmir Allen as a return guy to maybe be able to make this, or maybe we're going to see someone else like Tinsel, Mitchell Tinsley step up in those kind of roles. I'm, I'm really interested to see how this wide receiver room shakes out for the Washington commanders. Cause this Last year, going into last year, you could have said that we were supposed to be one of the top five units in the NFL. Didn't sh- didn't actually happen over the course of the season, and now it looks like we've got Terry McLaurin and a bunch of others. So who is going to step up to help out in the wide receiver room? I want to know that, and I want the left tackle to be solidified. We have really no idea who is going to end up being there. You have Adam Peters saying that he's okay if Cornelius Lucas or Trent Scott start at left tackle. Nobody in the fandom wants to see that happen, but that's where we might end up being if rookie Brandon Coleman can't step up to the plate and become that starting left tackle. Now, it looks like Brandon Coleman is the future at tackle. Maybe a swing tackle, maybe, you know, a backup tackle. You know, they might move him into guard, depending. You know, we've seen some reports on that for pre-draft. But right now, Brandon Coleman has the opportunity and has been seeing snaps at left tackle. Can he solidify that position? Can he be the guy Washington needs him to be and be a starting left tackle for Jaden Daniels in this offense? I would love to see it. I don't know if we're going to be able to. I think that Brandon Coleman coming off an injury, coming off you know a year where he wasn't necessarily playing left tackle a lot, it's a lot to ask him to make that jump into the NFL and do that. But if they can make it work out, Washington's got quite them quite a steal them, them for themselves there with Brandon Coleman. And of course, the last, the number one thing that I want to see in training camp is Jaden Daniels. I need to see him just heads and shoulders above everybody else and make it no question. We went into last training camp where there was a QB competition, which we knew there was not actually a QB competition. It was Sam Howe's job from the start, and he did well enough to actually earn that position. I want a little bit more of the same here. The team's been reluctant to actually name Jaden Daniels as the starter, but I want him to put it to to rest right away. I just want him to be so much better than everybody else on that field that it gives us all the warm fuzzies we need going into the season. I mean, his he's he's working up against Marcus Mariota. Okay, so I mean, he really doesn't have you know that far to go to look impressive. But please, for the love of goodness, look the part of a number two overall pick in the NFL draft. Well, that's my five things that I'm looking forward to in Washington Commanders training camp. Let me know what your five things are in the comments. I'm Nathan Perry here on Ref the District, part of the Believe Network, brought to you by Bet Online. And until next time, be a fan.